Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. And it's a really, a truly a good afternoon. It's so good for you to be here in this community effort to occupy Mendocino. Thank you for coming. Yes, I was born in Asheville, North Carolina, and even though I left after 18 months. I'm 95 years, can you believe that? I can't, frankly. I do look homeward age, because my aunt was the high school teacher who taught English to Tom Wolfe. You remember, some of you remember reading the book Warren Angel? Remember that? I've been proud to be a Tar Heel. That is the last two. I'm really saddened that the bigotry that has shown up in North Carolina with respect to the gay marriage issue. I remain optimistic. Even so, out here on the coast, we must remain alert to the below surface bigotry and the profiling of our neighbors. But I digress. Let's take a look at this Occupy business. Actually, it has deep roots in the American history. Remember Tea Party? The original colonial ones? The real ones, not the ones that are taken over by the neocons today. Okay, is that any better? Okay. The colonial one, the colonial Tea Party, was a reaction to corporate autocracy. The patriots are objecting to the East India Company and the British Royalists, which were stifling the colonial economy. The objection then was to overriding dictatorship of the mega corporation. The same thing that Occupy is re reacting to today. The overwhelming political power of really big corporations and the casino capitalism of the big financial firms and banks. That's what Occupy is so angry about. Not the local mom and pop corporations that make our local communities viable. And let me say right here, that we in Occupy very much appreciate the contribution our neighbors make who work for the, the few big corporations that are still here. We know these folks can't do much to change corporate policy. They are faced with the same problems of earning a living we all have. It must be hard for them to have to carry out some of the fraudulent practices and policies that the corporations and banks are insisting on. Occupy is in the mainstream of America in the sense that dissent is built into the American dream. I know because of some of the things I've been involved in over the years. For me, it began in Washington, D.C. with a Boy Scout troop and church groups and the, and the community youth action organizations. This led to participation in the American Youth Congress. Some of you may remember that. A nationwide cooperative of all kinds of youth movements a target, naturally, of the House on american Activities Committee, and later say, uh, Senator Joe McCarthy, whose wife, by the way, was a classmate of mine at college. That's how I happened to become acquainted with Eleanor Roosevelt and FDR, and had the privilege of frequently visiting the White House and participating with Eleanor in various community activities, a relationship which lasted for many years and well after FDR's death. The message I bring to you today is the message Eleanor Roosevelt shared with me, that each of us has an opportunity, actually an obligation, to participate in the community, to become involved in some aspect of community action. Look around at the nonprofits here today. You have many, many choices. As Eleanor Roosevelt demonstrated for me, participation is so very satisfying, and it's fun. I learned from Eleanor Roosevelt and from my experiences during the New Deal and later 
that what elected politicians, those who presumably represent us in the halls of government, what they actually do is rather limited. That until they feel the views and the heat of their constituents. Unfortunately today, even more than in the past, the heat they mostly feel and respond to is the heat of money. Money of the 1% and the mega corporations. That the corporations are just running, uh, excuse me, ruining the country is due at least in part to decisions of the unelected Supreme Court. Mark my words, we who vote for the coming elections will make a difference. But Eleanor would agree with that. But as Eleanor, FDR, and me, and so many others have learned, voting is not enough. FDR put it this way, you elected me, now build a movement to make me do what you want. That is the essence of Occupy, participation, not merely taking part, but as it shows on the banner up here and down there, inform yourself, think for yourself, and then stand up and speak out. Come on in, the water's fine. Try it, you'll like it. Thank you.